Welcome back. In this video, let's dive into form validation. We will make sure our email and password fields have mandatory field validation. First things first, we need a way to display error messages to our users. Let's start by creating a new state variable to store these messages. We're going to call this errors, the function set errors, and the initial value is an empty object. This object will help us keep track of any errors that might pop up. Now let's define a function called validate form. This function will be the heart of our validation logic. It will check the fields and either populate our errors object with messages or return true if everything is valid. If no username, update errors dot username with username is required message. Similarly, one for password. We will then call set errors passing in the errors object and we will return object dot keys of errors dot length is equal to zero. So if the errors object doesn't have a key for username or password, we don't have any error messages and our form is valid. But if we do have our errors, we need to display them, right? So in our JSX, let's add error messages using a text component. Right after text input, curly braces, we're going to check if a username error is present and we're going to render that message. If there is no error, we return null. We'll also style this using styles.errorText, which we will define shortly. I'm going to copy this, paste it after the other text input, and change occurrences of username to password. This way, our users will know exactly what they missed or what they need to correct. For the error text styles, we'll set color to red and a margin bottom. This will make sure our errors stand out. And there you have it, simple yet effective form validation. But we are not done yet. In our next video, we will be handling form submission. We will learn when to call this validate form function and how to log form values if the form is indeed valid. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.